Hello everyone, welcome back to Cello from the Beginning. Today we'll be looking at third finger on the G string and C string. So last lesson we spent quite a bit of time with third finger on the A and the D string and working that to 4, 3, 1, 0, 1, 3, 4 pattern. We're going to just move that over two more strings. So first thing we're going to do, just like before, is set up our left hand on the G string, check that fourth finger with our open C, make sure we're in tune, make sure we get a nice spread on the fingers, and then we're going to play this pattern with a steady beat. Fourth finger, uh, four times, then third finger, then first finger, then open and back up. So here we go. Check your fourth finger, ready to play. One, two, Ready, and four, three, one, open, one, three, four. Good. Now, a couple things to look at here. As we come across you will see that my, sh uh, my elbow comes forward a little bit. So as I move from the A string to the D string to the G string to the C string, I have to bring that elbow forward. If I don't do that, then I'm going to be reaching out with these fingers, and they're going to not stay curved. So in order to keep my fingers nice and curved, just bring that elbow forward slightly. That's the first thing. Uh, second thing is, let's talk about the name of this note that we've added. So we know that fourth finger on the G is C. First finger was A, G, A, C. What's between A and C? A, B, C. So there we are. So fourth finger C, third finger B, first finger A, open G. All right, let's do this pattern again, this time in groups of two. So two of each note. One, Two, fourth finger, four, three, one, open, one, three, four, and stop. Let's do it with note names. One, two, ready, play, C, B, A, G, A, B, C. Okay, that's feeling comfortable, you can do that pretty easily, reliably, then you can move on to single note pattern. Like that. Let's try it together. One, two, ready, play. Four, three, one, oh, one, three, four, again. Four, three, one, oh, one, three, four, note. Names C, B, A, G, A, B, C. Last time C, B, A, G, A, B, and C. Good. All right. Let's take that hand, stay in position, just slide right over to the C string. That elbow comes forward a little bit, and we have fourth finger. Do you remember the name of the note? Fourth finger on the C string. That's F, F natural technically, but we'll just call it F. So we have open finger or open string C, first finger D, fourth finger F. What's going to be between D and F? C, D, E, F. C, D, E, F. Okay, here we go. Groups of four. Starting from fourth finger. One, two, ready, and four, three, one, open, one, three, four, and stop. 
groups of two. One, two, ready, and four, three, one, oh, one, three, four, and stop. Now with note names. One, two, ready, and F. C, D, E, F, and stop. You may notice that to get a good sound over here, you're having to squeeze a little harder uh, on this C string especially, and the G string as well. Basically, A string is the easiest. As we move across, the strings are fatter, wider, uh, thicker, and just more difficult to hold down to get good firm contact. So usually you have to, you have to use a little more grip on that C string than what we're using over on the A. All right, let's try this uh, single notes. So we'll go. All right, one, two, ready, play. Four, three, one, oh, one, three, four, again. Four, three, one, oh, one, three, four note names. F, E, D, C, D, E, F, one more time. F, E, D, C, D, E, F. All right, great job. So you have now learned through the last several videos to play open one, three and four on the C string, on the G string, on the D string, and on the A string. So that gives us a great vocabulary of notes to start learning pieces of music with and uh, doing more than one string. So we may start on the D string and go on to the A. So we'll start working on some exercises like that involving two strings in the next uh, lesson. As always, uh, please like, subscribe, and if this content is helping you and uh, you're able to at all, we're very thankful for your donations as well. We'll see you next time. Practice hard.